Okay, so we've got one more toy to make before we start delivering this wonderful enrichment to our animals. I'm going to make something for my dog Chino. Chino's 16 years old and he's a staffy Kelpie. He loves to play with treat puzzle boxes and you can make something like this for your pet at home. Let's have a look at the kinds of things that we can use. So for Chino, I know that he's very good with cardboard uh, and paper and even fabric, but I'm going to avoid using anything plastic that might hurt his gums. All right, so what have I collected? All right, so let's see what I've collected. I've got a cardboard box, small one, toilet rolls. I told you how much we love those. <laughs> Some paper. This could be brown paper like I've got, or it could be newspaper, whatever's handy for you. And a larger box. And of course, dog food. That's going to make it even more interesting for Chino. All right, so I'm going to start small. So I've got my cardboard tube here and I'm going to push in the ends, so close them in. In fact, you can see how I've done that. Close them in so no kibble would fall out. Then, of course, I've got small pieces of kibble here. Maybe one or two in there. And that's it, you guessed it. We're gonna close it over again. Close it at this end. Oh, you can't hear the kibble, but it is there, unless it fell out. Okay, <laughs> I've got the kibble inside there. We might do that for one more. You could do this type of, uh, what we would call you could do this type of thing with a empty coffee cup, so a takeaway coffee cup. Um, you could use that instead of the toilet roll if you like, or as well as the toilet roll. Small boxes, anything like that. But today, these are the things that I'm working with. All right. <laughs> okay, great. I might do one more of those. If I had another small box, I could use that instead. There we go. Close that in. Cats might even enjoy a toy like that uh, with their own food in it, of course. Okay, so I've got my three little treat parcels here. I'm going to take my small box and pop them inside. I'm going to make it a little bit trickier for Chino by putting some paper. In order to get the treats out, he's going to have to remove this paper first. I'll close the lid because I know Chino's pretty good at this game. You might start off really easy for your pet if they've not had this experience before. You might start off with your toilet roll uh, with the treat in it and that's all, just to introduce this idea. If I wanted to attract the dog to really get into this treat box, I could put something really smelly in there, like a little piece of cooked chicken or a little piece of um, ham, not too much, but just something that's really going to excite the dog. All right, so we've got our bits and pieces in there. Pop that down there. Okay, so we've got a larger box now that we're going to use. I check my boxes um, to have a look how much sticky tape is there, which with this box it's not too much because I don't want my dog to um, be ingesting any anything plastic. So be very careful about that. And of course these kind of games are under supervision um, to make sure that your dog stays safe during this game. I'm going to pop it in there. I'm going to bury the box in there too. It's going to be like a treasure hunt. Oh, it's hiding in there. Might add a couple of extra treats. And guess what? I'm going to make it even more challenging for Chino. Let's see, how, we're going to see how he goes with it. I've got a piece of old towel. You could choose um, a pillowcase that you didn't mind 
um, getting messy or perhaps even ripped up. So it had to be something old that you're not worried about. I'm going to pop that in there too. It's all covered over. And then we're going to just close the lid, not with any tape, but I'm just going to close it by folding in the tabs a little bit. Once again, if your pet is not familiar with this kind of game, you might want to start off really easy and leave the box open for them and gradually get more challenging as you go on. Okay, good. I folded that in. You might need assistance with this. So um, maybe you'll have a friend handy or an adult to help you. When we're delivering treat puzzles to dogs, it's important to keep your hands off and don't touch the dog while it's dealing with the treat puzzle. Some dogs will be quite protective over their toys and their food, so um, get an adult involved to help you. I can't wait to see what Chino thinks of this.